Look at you! I could just gobble you up. But it's in my contract with the Navy that I do no such thing. Um, please don't you do that. You found alive and well, if not a bit soggy. Well done. I had a feeling you'd be full of surprises. I've been here searching for a means of escape. But everyone is so preoccupied with their precious scion that they hardly give me a glance. Well, I, um, kind of actually spoke with the dead kill. Didn't get a chance to really dead him or anything like that. You met him, did you? Tell me, what did the villain have to say for himself? Did he have the hangmen with him? Bloodgrin, the Whispering Witch, the Baronet? Wait. These all sound like bosses that I'm gonna have to fight sooner or later. The Whispering Witch? She wields a powerful staff, and she likes to whisper into the ears of her victims before they die. No one knows what she says. She's also said to be Dead Cow's lover. Gross. Yep. And she probably, like, also, you know, teabags. Says that she's gonna teabag them when they die. But she really doesn't do it or anything like that. Who's Bloodgrin? Big nasty brute. He kills with his bare hands if he can, but he'll settle for his hammer if he wants to be especially messy. And the bear on that? He's a fancy one. More concerned with his silks and swagger than with taking a life. As Mother always said, manners will get you everywhere, and I mean everywhere. Alright, well I've got to find dead kill, if you have any clues on that. I know how. Alder spoke of an old castaway, a man named Key, who has been on this island longer than anyone. Perhaps he's lived long enough to know our pirate friend. If nothing else, it's a good place to start. All right. So um, what now? Where do I where do I find him exactly? Alder will know where to find this Key fellow. If we're lucky, he'll be normal, not like the rest of these twisted eels. I'm not counting on it. Alright, alright, alright. I'll go talk to Alder then. Since you can't really do anything. Um, Alder? Hello? Oh, I have to ask you about somebody. I'm sorry about your friend, Tari. His loss was unfortunate. But in my time, I've learned that everything occurs according to a Karas. Wait a minute, Tari's dead? We in the village are preparing for the offering ceremony. To receive our new scion. Only then will you truly understand. I didn't know Tari was dead. Anyways, uh, I think you have the information that I need. Captain Brettigan explained that you plan to bring dead Kel to justice. I understand your reasons, but the quest is folly. Still, I wish you success. So I will point you in the direction of a man named Key. He is the oldest castaway on Gallows End. He will have answers. Oh, sweet ass, thank you. speak with him, I must ask you a favor. Your journey will take you past Soul Deep Fasting, where my wife Bridget prepares for the offering. Take her this amulet. She will want it. All scions wear it during the ceremony. Okay, so where exactly is Soul Deep Fasting? And why is it called there? On the beach to the west. You will know it by the watchers standing guard out front. Do not provoke them. All right, so don't provoke them, and yeah, all right. Um, good on you then. I guess I'll head on out and deliver that amulet, just like you said. This thing is uh, mighty close. You should probably take care of them howling wolves. I've got to keep you up all night. Anyways, there's the... Uh Soul deep fasting and it wasn't easy, but I followed that landing party inland. Nobody carrying that much cargo is here by accident. There's a storm brewing. I'll be happy to know that I took a prisoner. That dainty fellow over there. He says he's harmless, but I'm not so sure. I had a chance to scout a bit closer and caught sight of another ship. One that's still intact just offshore. If I were crazier, I'd steal it and make for open sea. Mostly, I just want to go after their leader. His people are here for blood. We'll know soon enough. Alright, so, um... Go after the leader, then. Since he seems so very capable and actually useful, unlike everybody else that I've ever met. I was hoping you'd see things my way. 
The people in Cape Solace always lay their fates down at the feet of others. Whether it's Akara, Dead Kel, or even my father. I will no longer stand by and do nothing. I will go and I will find the one behind this invasion. He will answer to me. Good on you. You're a strong, independent little woman. With a tattoo that almost looks like mine, except it looks ridiculous on your forehead. Oh also, that prisoner's probably get flu. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Wouldn't that be crazy? Alright, let's go inside Soul Deep Fister thingy. Fasting, that's it. Soul Deep Fasting. Oh, look at that. They have all of these little um, altars spread throughout, which I'm never gonna use. Let's get some of the leechwood bark. I think maybe they're expecting us in here. Oh great, there's all this creaking and uh... Alright, that's that's not creepy at all. You're just kind of standing there in the... At a dead end. Praying, it looks like. Are you, are you the lady I'm supposed to look for? What is it you seek? No, oh, you're not a lady. The new scion must not be disturbed. Her meditations are of great importance to the offering ceremony. Without the proper preparation, she won't withstand the power that comes with Akara's blessing. It will destroy her. Well, it just so happens I have this amulet for uh, Bridget. Soon, that name will mean nothing. She will be the scion, Akara's chosen one, and the vessel for his power. I will give her the amulet once she breaks from her meditation. You must leave now. That is not a suggestion. What's your armor made out of? Because it looks pretty sweet, I must admit. But, um, exactly where is Bridget? That is not your concern. She is safe. Nothing will happen to the Scion under the gaze of the Watchers. Do you have eyes? Because it looks like you can't even see out of your helm. So how can you be a Watcher if you can't see? No, you, you just want me to leave? All right. I guess I'll just leave. I have a feeling that I'm going to be coming back here. And uh, I, by that time, I really hope that you've oiled all of the wood. Because it gets really annoying when you hear the creaking all the damn time. I'm just going to throw that out there. Alright. Now to continue on northward. We can hopefully find out where this uh, key man is. I wonder if it's spelled like K E Y or if it's like a Quay key. Oh, look at all these bears just coming out. Yeah, get away from me, bear. I got nothing on me. Am I even going the right way? I should probably check. I think so. It. Oh, what's that big mountain up there? Ring of the Watcher. The northern coast, the dark harbor, the jawbone. So, yes, we're going the right way. Sweet is. Let's continue going on then. I wonder if there are more story times around here. I would really like to entertain myself a little bit. Alright. Oh, and there's a thresh. We're gonna run from the thresh. Alright, um, that's not gonna hit me anytime soon. Just continue to follow the main road, and I think we'll be, um, there pretty soon. Oh, and now we got boggarts chasing us. Oh, great. It's so like everywhere has to have a bogger. Boggers just can't be like on the mainland or something like that. Um, well, I'll get away from you, you wolf. Oh, I think we're almost there. Oh, the wolves are chasing me. Um, are you Mr. Quay or Key? Another one, eh? Yes. Well, Akana just keeps drawing them in. Fish trapped in his widening nets. 
What is it you want, Castaway? The simplest answer to your problems lies beyond those cliffs there. One swift drop, and then peace. Wait, are you actually referring that I just, like, toss myself over? Well, anyways, all to say that you could help? Oh, priest, eh? How is it that most pawns aren't even aware of the game? Every few years, Alder sends me a hopeless spirit, praying I can provide a fate weaver's wisdom. But I have no hope to give. I have nothing. Dead Kell has seen to that. Look around you. We are damned. Well, joke's on you, um... Um, I'm a, I don't exactly have a fate. I was. You know of fate weavers then? Know that we are a tragic brood destined for a life of isolation and disappointment. <laughs> Why read the cards when you already know what they say? I will die on this island, as will you. You sure about that? Um... So quit your whining and tell me where Dick Kelly is. Where is he? Everywhere, you fool. Everywhere. Try to leave this island. Dead Kell is there. Try to hide in the fastings. Dead Kell is there. You're better off hiding from your own shadow. Well, why don't you quit your whining and just tell me what I need to know then? <laughs> Easy for you to say. You've only just arrived on our fair paradise. Come to me again in 20 years. You will not be so spirited then. Perhaps our fortunes would be different if we'd been touched by Akara, as dead Kel was. Perhaps not. Only dead Kel can move freely here. He possesses a ship, one that can navigate these perilous waters. Oh, no. We're here to stay. Both of us. Without a boat, we have nothing. Well, tell me about the ship then. It is called the Requiem. Years ago, the vessel belonged to Dead Kell's lover, the Whispering Witch. But when his own flagship, the Stormbringer, was sunk off the coast, he needed a replacement. As far as I know, it is the only seaworthy ship on all of Gallows End. And what a prize it would be to possess. Um, so he basically took his girlfriend's ship? Oh, I definitely wouldn't want to be his girlfriend then after that. So, um... What is this Akara fellow anyways? It is said. The dead Kell is the only mortal to have ever laid eyes upon Akara. To have spoken with him as an equal. Not even the Siam has been so close. And she is linked to Akara through magic. Now you know why dead Kell remains a threat long after he was supposedly killed by the Alpha. He is not a natural thing. His life is both blessing and curse. Oh, well, this just happens to be my speciality. I can kill gods. So, um, yeah, I'll get you off this island. And you will succeed where all others have failed. You will not secure the Requiem. Because you will die long before you even lay eyes upon it. Fate cannot be changed. Well, I got no fate, so uh, joke's on you. Because I would have told you everything. So where, where's the ship then? Tell me that. Dead Kell and his hanged men keep the ship in the dark harbor. Their private port, northwest of here. All right. Destiny is yours. That's all I needed to know. I am going to find that ship. So let's head on over to the uh, dark harbor then. I think it was that way, right? All right, fellas, I'm here to enter your keep, and you're going to do absolutely nothing to stop me because, well, I think I might. A 
Oh, sweet ace, he totally didn't see me. Alrighty then, I'm just gonna continue to sneak on over. Hopefully he won't be coming back anytime soon. And somebody might want to take care of their wolf. Seems like he's in a whole lot of horrible pain. Oh, I see another captain. There seems to be a whole lot of damn captains around. How many ships are on here? Oh, great Nizzelin, she as well. Alright, we are almost there, I got the feeling. And you just walk around in circles. How about that? You just keep on hopping around in your circles and... Uh, don't even look at me. Alright, which way do I want to go now? I think I want to continue this way. Just by the looks of it. Maybe start crawling on up here. I think that's the way to go alrighty. Well, this place is certainly a maze. And not amazing. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to get rid of this bloke. Please die. Alright. Just gonna continue to sneak on. I am the sneaky sneakiest. Only question is, will I be able to sneak past all of these? Oh, great. Here they come. All right. It's time to end you yet again. You know, because y'all scalies. Come and get some. Oh, um, no, don't do that, please. Ow. Say so don't do that. Of course, I would dodge right into it. Um, please don't follow. I want to take your lunch money first. Alright, well, we managed to sneak all this way. That's, that's pretty far, right? I feel pretty proud of myself for that one. Um, who are you? Oh, please don't talk to me. So, you escaped the cove, did you? I assume that Rast survived too. She's luckier than most, even if she's too daft to realise it. Everybody was saying that you were dead. Perhaps even tough enough to help me steal the Requiem. I need someone with muscle to help me smash those gears. Well, do I look any more musclier than you? And hold on, I thought you were supposed to be uh, dead and mute. My injuries were not as serious as I made them appear. I followed you and Rast through the flooded cavern to the beach, and then made for the forest. It was the only way to avoid Cape Solace. I couldn't let them see me. Not after what they did. Um... So, um... Rast kind of trusted you, so why should I trust you, if you're not what you appear to be? Why do you think everyone in Rathia considers Rast Brattigan a travesty? She's far too trusting to be a sailor. However, she did get me back to Gallo's End, and for that I am thankful. And she was kind. Far too kind. Wait a minute, you've actually been I'll here before? Again. I will have my revenge. I will kill the scion as she meant to kill me. Huh? Well, I killed the scion. Simple. She killed my mother. Not with her own two hands, no, but with her treachery. They were close, Pima and my mom, like sisters. All that changed when the village chose their next scion. Not even friendship can weather the jealousy of power. Pima lied to Alda, and she had my mother marked as a thief and a harlot. This island was our whole lives, and suddenly we were no longer welcome. We were set out to sea alone, without food or water, at the mercy of the frostbreak. 
can we just like skip to the like gloss over the fact that your mother was a scion? No, she never became a scion. She was chosen, but the honor lasted but a day. Those few hours were my mother's happiest. For once in her long, hard, scrabble life, she had been special. She died with a smile on her pretty face. I was adrift for weeks until the Diverg had found me, when I was sold into slavery. Even then, so long ago, I knew I wouldn't be satisfied with anything but revenge. Well, then, um, why don't you let me kill the Scion, then? Would do that for me? But why? Before she died, my mother made me promise not to go after Pima. Perhaps you are here to make sure I stay true to my word. No, because you're just going to get decimated if you try. The Scion, but justice must still be done. She resides in the north, where she prepares her final departure. But beware her honor guard, the Watchers. They are powerful. Okay, so then what should I do then? You just told me, like, she's up in the north. Sion will be preparing to depart the island to make way for her replacement. She will leave from the beach on the north of the island. So, uh, you're still not telling me what I should do. Should I, like, take a boat? Should I kill her or something? Justice done. Alright. Well, I guess I'm gonna head on in and do this task first. Great, there's creaking in here too. Can we just like somebody get a lot of oil and just oil all the damn wood? <laughs> 